Hello again, everybody. Welcome to America's Top Ten. His net worth at the time of his death is in excess of $80 million. Keep your feet in the ground and keep reaching for the stars. They will be in court and they will be contesting that will. He left a fortune behind, including this sprawling $42 million estate, an empire he built with his voice. Now, we're up to the number one song in the USA. He was the host of American Top 40 for more than 20 years, and the voice of Shaggy for the popular cartoon Scooby-Doo. Zoinks! Cut out! It's the ape man! But there's a deep, nasty fight between Casey's widow, Jean, who is the executor of the will, and his daughter, Carrie, who was in control of his body until his death. On June 1st, when Carrie attempted to have her father move to a hospital, Jean protested by throwing hamburger meat at her. In the honor of King David, I get that. I am, I am. meat to you, to the dogs. Minutes later, you can see Kasem taken away by paramedics, and Jean goes off. All the doctor bills that we paid for you never helped, did they? It was biblical and symbolic. When a person is about to pass away, there are always rabid dogs. On June 11th, Carrie won a court battle with Jean over her father's care. This is purely about vengeance and money. Carrie proved that her father did not want to be kept alive by life support as Jean wished. Jean called it greed. There's a $2 million life insurance policy. Those kids are all underwater. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, I think she's mentally ill. I sat down with Carrie before her father passed away and asked her point blank about his fortune. Is any of this about money? We've told Jean, take it all. Take everything. Keep the money. We won't go after you. We're not going to go after the will. We're not going to go after the estate. Keep it. Just give us our dad back. What about the funeral? E.T. has learned Carrie will not keep Jean from planning it and will abide by the terms of the will. But we're also told Jean absolutely doesn't believe her. Sad but true, this family could absolutely end up in court. Judge Patricia Domango, a retired New York State Supreme Court justice who will preside on Hot Bench when it debuts September 15th, tells E.T. Jean could block the children from the funeral. As the next of kin, Jean, the wife, would be the one making the funeral arrangements and handling the body itself and so she can make this funeral as private as she likes or as public as she likes. It would be a very drastic decision and, a, and I believe an, a, a, a bad decision for her to try to block his children from attending their father's funeral. Attorney and author Herb Nass told ET, we may not have heard the last from this volatile family. The Kasem family feud is likely to be in court. If you see court battles before the person dies, nine times out of 10, there's gonna be a court battle after the person dies. 